Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to Robertson Wesley. My name is Reverend Karen, and as always, I am so excited to be here worshiping with you today. So, this is what we consider to be Christian Family Sunday. Um, as we all know, we have a group of people that we live with at home, and that can be our immediate family. But did you also know that we have a Christian family? That's right. A family that is created and gathers us before, before God, because God is our parent, or like a parent. So today we're going to explore that a little bit more and think about how God, how we live as a family. Um, we are still in the season of Easter. The season of Easter, the color is white or gold to kind of capture the sunrise, the rising of Jesus, the resurrection of Jesus from the from the tomb. Um, and during the season, we hear story after story of Jesus first appearing to the disciples, but then also passing the baton. Have you ever been in a relay where you pass a baton to the next person? That's kind of what happened here. God passed the baton onto Jesus who came here on earth. Jesus is running with the baton and now is passing it off to the disciples. The disciples then run with the baton and then they pass it off to us. That's right. So we have been given the baton and the baton in this case is the love of God. Good morning. How is the Brown family? I, I want to talk about how God works in this world. So I just told you that God sent Jesus to earth, taught a bunch of the disciples and other people that followed, and then they taught other people, and then other people taught other people, and now we are being taught about how we are to love one another and care for this entire world. And so in the Easter season, we have been starting with a greeting. I hope you remember what it is. So I'm going to greet you by saying, peace of Christ be with you. And you respond with? And also with you. That's right. The peace of Christ be with you. And also with you. I thought we'd sing a fun song, one that we haven't sung for a little bit. It's called Know, know That God Is Good. So the words are, know that God is good, know that God is good, know that God is good, God is good, God is good. It's pretty simple. There's also um, the Swahili and then there's the French. So we're gonna we're gonna start with the English and then we'll work on the other ones. French. Ah, my pronunciation is not going to be great, but I'm sure you will all be better. So, c'est vrai, d'où est bon. C'est vrai, d'où est bon.
let's talk about God. Today we're going to talk about God. If you were to describe God, what words would you use? How would you describe God? What is God like? What is God like for you? Because God is different to all sorts of people. So I would like to hear from you. So if you're on Facebook, please send me your answers in the comment box. What is God like? How would you describe God to somebody else so that they would know who you're talking about? It's kind of like if you were to describe me to somebody else, what would you say? She's that crazy lady wearing the long white gown and um, talks a lot. <laughs> All right, excellent. Some answers. I love it. So God is helpful and awesome. Love it. Perfect. For me, God is this energy, this feeling of, of acceptance and love. What other words would you use to describe what God is like? All right, let me change the question. This one might be easier. I want you to use words to describe uh, your mother or somebody who is like a mother to you. Mothers sometimes for us can be our grandparents. Sometimes it could be an aunt or a cousin. So loving, that's a good answer. Any other words you'd use to describe your mom? Hint, hint, today's Mother's Day, so I hope you all made them breakfast in bed. Um, yeah, mothers. Mothers are very patient. At least that's what I've learned in my life. Patient, they're loving, they're supportive, they say wonderful things about us. Sometimes it's so embarrassing because all they do is talk about us. Drive some of us crazy. The best, exactly. Mothers are the best. I'm gonna read you um, a story. It's called Bell Weathers' Message About God. Um, and I want you to think about what is this telling us about who God is and about what it means to be part of a Christian family. So I'm gonna flip this around. So this is Bell Weathers' message about God. Bring you closer so I can reach. All right. God is good, for God is love. God created the earth, the sea, and the stars above. God lives in you. God lives in me. God lives in all things that you see. God is the best friend you will ever know. God is with you as you live, learn, play, and grow. And in all that happens, good and bad, God is always near, so you need not feel sad. You are never alone. But if you feel fear, remember God loves you and holds you dear. Oh, there's a bunny rabbit. God's love is stronger than wind rain or hurricane. God is the sun peeking through the dark clouds. God is the moon that brightens the night. God is the sparkle that glistens on the snow. God is the smell of the forest in spring as new things grow. With God by your side, there is no limit to what you can do. So reach for the sky and your dreams will come true. Never say never and listen to your heart. Be a painter, a writer, or sailor traveling from port to port. Do what you love and love what you do. Treat others the way you want them to treat you. Keep your thoughts on all that is good and watch the miracles unfold for you will create a life more wonderful than the best story that has ever been told. Love yourself like God loves you and you will find happiness in all that you do. At the end of the day, thank God for your gifts and you will find courage, strength, and bliss. Now, Lay your head down and rest for the night and know in your heart God is holding you tight. God cradles and rocks you in the palm of God's hands. God's love knows no limit. It's timeless and grand. And as you wake and start a new day, ask God to guide you and show you the way.
So, what did that story tell us that God was like? Do you remember the last picture when God was like a shepherd leading the sheep? We've seen this image. We talked about it a couple weeks ago that God is kind of like a shepherd who is protecting the sheep, feeding them, clothing them, taking care of them while unclothing them because they shear the sheep and they take the fur off because it gets too hot. Um, you know, mothers or people that are like our mothers are the same. They make sure we get fed. They often make sure things are clean. They make sure that we have shoes that fit. They, they give up so much so that we can have what we need. And they are so special that we have a day for them. Um, so today is Christian Family Sunday, as I said. And Christian Family Sunday is about the fact that even when maybe the family that we used to live with, so for those of you adults out there, even the families that we used to live with, they are still there. And we are a part of an even bigger family, the family of God. We are part of God's family, and you are a part of Roberts and Wesley's family as well. And did you know that today we are going to be baptizing Natalie? I'm so excited. This is Claudia's sister, Natalie. Some of you may have met her, some may not. We're going to do that at 1 o'clock today, and I hope you will join me for that so you can see Claudia and Natalie and uh, wish them well and promise to be with them in our time together. So it's like getting a new sister in our family, um, which is very, very exciting. Now, I know that we have to stay away from each other right now. And did you know that by doing that, we are acting in love? We are acting through love by protecting one another, by staying home and, and trying to make sure that no one else gets sick. Um, and so that people have room in the hospitals for people who are sick so that there's, there's enough people to take care of them. So the scriptures we're going to hear today in the 1030 service talk about the great commandment again, that we are to love one another as we would want to be loved. So we need to care for each other in a way that is very similar to how others care for us. So how you want to be treated is how we need to treat other people. I want you to imagine what it is that you give to others the most? What is it that you give to other people the most? Is it hugs? Is it kind words? Is it acts of love? Like, do you like to make people things? Do you like to make people laugh? Do you like to just hold somebody's hand to make them feel better? What is it that you do that's special to you, that makes other people know that they are loved, that they are important. What do you do to make other people feel that they are important? That is the question for this day. And that is what I'd like you to do too, is I want you to find a way to show whoever's like a mother to you. So like I said, this could be grandparents, this could be like a, a family friend, it could be a babysitter, it could be a teacher, like who who's, Who's someone in your life who takes care of you? Um, and how are you going to show them how much you appreciate what they've done for you in your life? So the way the disciples did this for Jesus was to continue to teach everybody about all the things that Jesus had done. And the greatest commandment, of course, is love the Lord your God. So let's sing that song, which I know you all love. Um, we will sing it together.
love the Lord, our God, with all our heart, souls, mind. And we do that by loving one another. Simple, very, very simple. All right, for those of you who might need some inspiration, I would suggest making a card with a beautiful flower on it or with a big heart on it and say, I love you, mom, or I love you, grandma, or I love you, whoever. Whoever it is that is acting as your mother this day, uh, make sure that you make them feel special. Uh, it's, it's, it doesn't really matter what we do. You could just spend some time with them. I bet if you got on the couch and cuddled with them, your mother would be so happy. So, so happy. They just want to feel your, your arms around them. Um, and that doesn't matter what age they are. So just remember that you are all loved because the message from God is that God is always with us. Even in times of trial and tribulation, times that are difficult and challenging, God is there loving us. So let's take a moment to pray. What is it that you would like to pray for this day? Is there anything specific that you would like to pray for? I mean, obviously we're gonna pray for moms, um, grandmothers, aunts, cool cousins, and other people who are like parents to us. Um, yeah, all right, find a comfortable position, get yourself ready, open up your, your spirit to God and let us pray together. Dear God, we are so thankful. We are thankful that we have people who take care of us, who make sure that we have everything we could possibly need. Love, friendship, somebody who listens to us, somebody who makes sure that we have food and, and clothing, people who make sure that, that we're safe, we are so grateful for all the people in our lives who are like mothers to us, whether it be our grandmothers or our siblings, it could be our cousins, our aunts, our mothers. There are so many people who love us like you do, God, and for that we give you thanks. Help us to be kind to other people. Remind us not to be grumpy, not to hit other people, but to remember that if we look at the people as if they were you, we would want to treat them with kindness, compassion, and love. So help us this day not to lose our temper. Help us this day to put in some special effort to make other people feel as loved as we do. Thank you, God, for everything you do. We also give thanks for all of the nurses and doctors and orderlies and paramedics and firefighters and, and good Samaritans. Everyone who is out there in the world making this place better and caring for other people who are in need. Be with people around this world who are struggling. Be with the families in our own church who have someone in their family who is sick. Remind them that we are all in this together, that we are wanting the world to find a way to get back to what we call normal, where we can play sports again, where we can hang out with our friends again, where we can have picnics and fires and all sorts of fun things and an opportunity to come back to our church home. We miss being together, God, and so we we give you our tears and our sadness, but we know that we are not alone for you are with us. And for this, we give you thanks. And we join together in the words that Jesus taught us, our creator who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Friends, as you go from here today, go knowing that you are not alone. God loves you, and we miss you. I miss seeing all of you so much. And I, 
I know that you're all out there doing wonderful things and I would love to hear more about them. And if you have been connected up with a senior from the church, maybe send them a card of encouragement because this is a hard time right now. So friends, have fun. I will see you at 1030 and then at one o'clock, don't forget baptism at one o'clock with Natalie and with Claudia. So hope to see you there. Okay, thanks. Take care. Bye.